the clinic, chatting all things MMA. So Mark the Wolf Penner, a successful title defence, how does it feel after all what's been going on the past 18 months to actually retain the bantamweight title of the UFC? You know, uh, Simon, thank you so much for having me. You know, it's been an absolute uh, pleasure coming back. You know, I haven't fought in a while. It's been a year and four months. You know, it's always hard being, uh, being out and being outside the cage, but it felt so natural. You know, this is the definitely the best camp I've had. You know the diet went well. Normally I'm craving a lot of a uh, lot of cakes and stuff, but uh, I got a new di a new nutritionist. Was on it, you know. My weight came off nicely, and we now can't do before before I s I s uh, before I stopped. I mean, for this time we could still do the drips. Now the drips you can't do them anymore. So now the rehydration went perfectly. S I was quite worried about that, but everything went fine, you know. So, you know, I'm happy how it went. The build-up to the fight was quite acrimonious. We talk about it quite a lot, but after the after the fight ended, you were guys were both very classy with each other. What are your feelings now? Was it was it a difficult fight to prep for with all that was going on between you and Oshad? You know, I think uh, I think I played a good game with him because he was too focused on me only. I said the mark this, the mark that. You know, I was focusing on getting better as a fighter. He was focusing on putting me down and saying I'm I'm not good enough or I'm uh, like a wet blanket. I'm just trying to hold him down and stuff like that. So. You know, they say, you know, the win and losers focus on winners and winners focus on, on winning. So I think that that's the biggest thing that happened there. You were fighting in his hometown, but there was some fantastic Angolan support here yeah. tonight. I mean, I'm sure there's some amazing parties going on in Luanda tonight. How did that feel for you? You know, the biggest thing was to give that victory to my people. Obviously, today is the independence of our country, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they love it. So, I mean, it's I'm, I'm really, I'm really, really happy that I was able to win, you know, it's it's amazing. I, I can't describe the feeling, to be honest. Yeah, Avante Angola. Yeah, so yeah. It, we, we, I want to talk about um, in the past. A lot of people criticised you for being having you've got a great top game, great base wrestling, but yeah. that lay and pray criticism that you're a boring fighter and yeah. you grind out decisions. But you showed some incredible kickboxing tonight. Your striking was on point. Is there a new phase, or is it was it just the motivation behind behind the fight, or are you continuing to evolve as a complete MMA artist? You know, I think I, I, I did tell Sayed that I will be more dynamic than him on the feet, and I don't think he believed that. But he had quite good movement. But, uh, you know, once you're away for a year and, and, uh, and four months as I was, and I was training every single day still, so I was getting better. He was probably watching my previous fights and thinking this guy uh, is not that good on the feet. But I think once again I've proven that I, had, I am not just a wrestler, so to speak. I can uh, stand, and I, and I did take him down like once, I think, or twice. And yeah, you know, I'm I'm well well versed everywhere. So and uh, he, he he was a Muay Thai champion. So yeah, exactly. So he's he's, he's not a, a, a slouch on the feet, and uh, and I proved that um, my stand up is actually quite good. Twelve and zero now, still undefeated in a professional career over so many years. I mean, how does that feel? And what is what is the immediate future for you now? Oh, wow, that's a really good question. You know, I think. You know, we need to be rewarded, I think, a little bit more in terms of the work that we put in, you know. So hopefully EFC recognizes that and they reward us more for all the work we put in. Let's see what the future holds. Hopefully hopefully something bigger. I don't know, but uh, I can't be doing this all like that and still being in the level that I'm at, you know, in terms of, uh, of my lifestyle and my life, you know. So I want to be rewarded 
you know, how I feel I should be, you know. So I put my body on the line all the time and I sacrifice my, myself. So we'll see. Regardless of that, I'm sure we can expect you to be staying at Fight Fit Militia in Sunning Hill. Yeah, definitely. You know, they've, I've shown, you know, Syed has traveled everywhere and he's trained with a lot of people. But I've showed, you know, you, the grass is greener where you stand, you know. There's no, there's no, there's no a better thing out there, you know. You have to make what you have great, you know. So that's what I was able to do. Train hard every day and just where I am is where it's best. Undefeated, Bantamweight EFC Worldwide, champion Demar Penner. Thank you so much for talking to us, bro. Thank you so much for having me. Thank, thanks a lot. Sorry, my hand is so... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> 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 Chatting all things MMA.